Okay, so today we are talking about complex conjugates. What these are used for is, is um, whenever we have fractions with complex numbers on the denominator, we always want to turn them into real numbers. Conjugates are just changing the middle sign. So if I have a positive sign in the middle, then I change it to a negative, and then vice versa. Um, this is used to get a real number on the denominator so I can simplify my fractions. So first we're just going to practice by finding conjugates. So on number one, it has one plus i. Its conjugate is going to be one minus i. So I want to multiply by that. Then I want to actually multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative i is negative i. i times 1 is i. i times negative i is negative i squared. Okay, so then what do you guys want me to do next? I like terms, so my i's cancel out. Then I'm left with 1 minus i squared. Remember, I can't leave i squared. So what do I want to replace that with? Well, I want to replace the i squared with a negative 1. But negative 1 times negative makes it a positive. So then 1 plus 1 is 2. So that is my final answer here. Okay. Then I want to do the same thing for number 2. So I just changed the sign in the middle. It's going to be 4 plus 3i. And then I want to go ahead and multiply. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 3i is negative 3i times 4. Negative 3i times 3i. Okay. So then what should I do next? Mm -hmm. And the 12 i's cancel out, so I just have 16 minus 9 i squared. Yep. So that's going to turn to negative 1. And then 16, it's really the same thing as adding a 9. So 16 plus 9 yep, is 25. Questions here? Okay. So, I accidentally typed number 4 exactly the same as 2, so just skip it. Okay, so on these ones, they're actually the fractions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the denominator and multiply by the complex conjugate of the denominator, so both the numerator and denominator. So, for this first one, I'm going to be multiplying by 4 plus 2i. Then I want to go ahead and distribute. So four, or 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2i is 4i. 3 times 4 is 12i. 3i times 2i is 6i squared. Okay. 
And then I want to go ahead and do the same thing to the denominator. So then I have 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 2i is 8i. Negative 2i times 4 is negative 8i. Negative 2i times 2i is negative 4i squared. Okay, then I want to go ahead and combine like terms in my middles. So I'm going to have 8 plus 16i plus 6i squared. Guys, be quiet. Then on the denominator, I'm going to just get 16 minus 4i squared. Uh, then I want to replace my i squareds with negative 1. Okay, then I want to multiply. So then I'm going to have 8 plus 16i minus 6 divided by 16 plus 4. Then I want to combine like terms. So then I get 2 plus 16i over 20. And then notice all of my numbers are even, so I can divide them all by 2. So 2 divided by 2 gives me 1. 16i divided by 2 gives me 8i. 20 divided by 2 gives me 10. Okay. So, questions on 5. Alright, so number 6 is the same. Uh, this time I'm going to take the 5 minus i and I'm going to multiply by 5 plus i for my numerator and denominator. Okay, then I want to distribute. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times i is 3i. 2i times 5 is 10i. 2i times i is 2i squared. Uh, same thing on the denominator. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times i is 5i. Negative i times 5 is negative 5i. Negative i times i is negative i squared.
Okay. Then I want to combine like terms in the middle. So then I have 15 plus 13i plus 2i squared on the denominator. Then those i's in the middle cancel out, so I just have 25 minus i squared. Now I want to replace my i squareds with negative 1. Okay. Then I want to multiply. So I'm going to have 15 plus 13i minus 2 over 25 plus 1. Then I combine like terms, so I get 13 plus 13i over 26. All of these numbers are divisible by 13. So I want to simplify. 13 divided by 13 is 1. 13i divided by 13 is i. And 26 divided by 13 is 2. Questions here.